Hello everybody. I'm really excited in this very moment of all the babies that have been ordered and lost and have come before but have not come here. This is the most recent purchase and the fastest to arrive. I'm um, also sort of an unplanned purchase but a long wanted baby. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I love that this says cutie, <laughs> whatever this says underneath here, um, cutie pants. It's gonna be very, very accurate for the baby inside. And I'm really anxious to see uh, how happy I am with the baby. So let's get started here. Um, it is late in the day, baby just got delivered. It's five o'clock here. So I've got the light on low, I'm in front of a window. We'll probably have to turn that light up as we go. I bought this doll off of a collector who doesn't do a whole lot of posting and is not on Instagram, but, uh, who I found in a group on Facebook. And she worked well with me. This is a really nice padding to make this happen. So I'm really excited. This is cool. Oh, <laughs> I think it's a pee pad, but it's a nice one. Jackie, you want that? Okay. I'm just gonna open this stuff straight out of the box instead of taking it out and all of that. I think that's gonna be the easiest. So first up, we've got a little washcloth, some mitts and a hat and another hat and everything's ice cold. We had a high of I think 14 today. It was negative nine when I woke up. You want the tissue paper, honey? Can you guys see Jackie? No, well, he's off on the side. Oh, you can't see him. He'll pop in when the baby comes out. He's such a, such a sweet doggy. There you go. More clothes in here. I think this is probably Carter's. Just one you. Sweet little sleeper set and another um, little footed sleeper with the elephant. I love blues for this baby. It's a boy. Oh, look. Okay, so I have this in creamy size on Henri. I just changed him into it on my last video so they can actually twin. We'll have to do that before we change Henri. Mommy's baby bear. <laughs> More bear stuff. And Henri, he's got a lot of bear themed stuff too. I like that side snap. Um, welcome home. Baby, welcome home. Cute. Oh, this is nice and thin. Um, itty bitty little Disney sleeper. I would have to guess that this would be either premium size or custom. This might even be a handmade deal. <clears throat> and then another little set. This looks premium size. Yep, koala baby premium with the moon with the bear and the little matching pants. Here, Jack. He's got a good amount of goodies in here. Okay, yes, yeah, she did say she was going to include some knits. So look at this cute little birdie yellow knit short all and the booties and the hat. It's really nice. I love that. Thank you for including that. I will share the link to the box opening. I'm not sure if she goes on YouTube much, but Another adorable knit. Mm. Little sleeveless overall jumper, booties, and a bonnet. That's a cool color too. It's sort of like an emerald green. Here you go, Jackie. I'm trying to also watch the light in the camera. I know we'll lose detail, but it looks like it's adjusting. Christmas set for next year, Santa's little helper. 
if I am correct in my assumption, this baby will still be here a year from now. It's a Carter set too. All right, we've got a little teddy here that's crocheted, which will go so cute with that green knit that we just opened. He's sweet. Very sweet. Uh, this feels like a bottle. No, you can't have that guy, honey. You can't have that guy. It is. It's a man bottle with fake formula in it. That's a cute one. Now, I don't sit and feed my babies like for role play, but it'd be cute. That'll be cute for photos. What's in here? Comb, diaper, passy. Another diaper and another diaper. <laughs> Little accessories. Ah, we've got a COA under here. And baby. And we'll get the boppy out for him. And we are it is getting dark out fast. I keep saying the boppy is not the best baby prop, doll prop, because of the center splitting open. Um, but I don't want to buy more baby accessories. I guess what I should say is I'd like to replace my boppies with a baby nest type deal. Um, but this blanket says baby boy. I'm excited. Are we ready? Let's see how I'll come a little closer. Yeah, it's pretty dark. I'm going to turn the light up. We'll just do a separate video in the daylight for him with for some details. Um, if I feel like he's not well represented. I'll make sure I've got the right setting. Baby, I do love baby boys. I love my baby girls too. Little baby boy. I cannot believe I have this doll here, you guys. Like, ooh, I can see his arm. And let's see how cold he is. Yeah, he's pretty cold. Okay. Oh, I love the painting already. So it's a silicone, which may be in the title. nice I like his um, I like his silicone and his paintings really nice one little footsie yeah, he's so cute another little footsie I'm very happy so far and look at him in blue. All right. So for the silicone collectors out there, I wonder if you recognize the arms because to me this is a uh, classic for this sculpt. It's a well-loved sculpt for those who collect it. We're getting some shadows here because the light's overhead, so I won't dwell too long. I just want to look at him real quick. He's soft. He's freshly powdered, I would say, but he's soft. The detail on his silicone sculpting and the little itty bitty tiny nails is amazing. So he's got two little fists. I'm gonna go for his face. And I'm hoping of the names that I've thought of for him that one will jump out once I see him. <laughs> Here he is. If you don't recognize him, this is the Tayona sculpt by Elena Westbrook. He's a full body silicone. Look at this little face with the little sucked in lip. Oh my goodness. 
he is really realistic. He's freezing cold. <laughs> that part, not so much, but he's really realistic. And I didn't see a whole lot of photos of him and his artist has made so many versions. I just could not pinpoint which one was the one I was getting because I did get this doll. I think that um, I'm the third person to have this doll. And I know that she got him in May of last year. So he was made probably sometime the end of um, 2020 or the beginning of 2021, depending on how quickly the first mom or dad sold him. He's got a little something in his ear. Okay. Oh, baby. His hair is real. Wow, like really soft. Look how, what a madhouse it is. I've got a little brush here. <clears throat> I love his crazy hair, but that's not how it goes. But he'll need a, probably a little bit of water here to, because it's super soft. Messy, but not tangled, not matted, which is good. The hair is really nice. The rooting is gorgeous. My goodness. I'm going to see what we can do here just for a temporary little straightening out. I don't want him to have like a toupee look, so... <laughs> Settle on something decent for now until I can take a look at how he's rooted and all that. Mm, try and avoid the comb over look. We won't go too crazy because I want to pick him up. Oh, he's so cute. He's he's a little bigger than, um, if I had to guess, I'd say 18 inches. I have to take a look. He's a little bigger than Henri. Oh, well, good bit bigger. Heavier for sure, but still small. And wow, is he realistic. I mean, I would have to say that in person, um, this Tayona sculpt is everything that I kind of like thought it to be <clears throat> in the last couple of years as I've drooled over them. I, I'm having one of those moments, you guys, where you had a whole bunch of dolls and a lot of box openings and you're touching ice cold silicone or vinyl and I still, my mind is still tricking me. His eyebrows are perfect. His nose is perfect. His mottling his coloring is so lifelike. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at this little face. And he's all one pore. <clears throat> See if I can't. <clears throat> Well, at least show his chest. I don't want to show his little baby private parts here on YouTube. And he doesn't have a diaper on. But I do want to look a little bit more at the body. <laughs> Up here. Oh, he does have a diaper on. Perfect. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's proportioned well, too. I would have to agree with the Tayona craze. Oh my gosh. And his little tiny little diaper thing. All right, I'll bring him up so you guys can check out his body, too. Look at his little rosy knees. And his little belly button. He's got a spine sculpted in. You can see his little hiney. And there's veining and mottling. Excellent detail. I see zero shiny spots. He wrinkles up. Come here, crazy hair dude. 
Oh, I thought I heard something. His little Velcro came undone. Diaper's a little tiny for him. A little tiny. But it's adorable. I'm trying to lay him so you can get the side profile that I'm looking at. And I see armpit is intact. No tears, no rips. I see no peeling. I see perfection. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Little hair. Okay, so the hair in the camera right now, I noticed that when I post a video, the color seems more balanced than what I see through the screen. So his hair's looking like a little more yellowy golden. I would say it's an ash blonde. An a yeah, I would say it's an ash blonde or like a super light brown, but it's not, it doesn't really have a red tone to it. We'll do a comparison with daylight, but <clears throat> look at the nails. Look at his ears. See, this is the little thing. It's, it's a fuzz. Or something I got to get off that little mark it's not not in his silicone but his nails are definitely better than mine you guys look at the little thighs and his little feet and his little toes I think we'll be able to pick a name for him pretty easy I have a couple of cute ones I wish that. I wish he'd come a little earlier in the day so we could do the box opening in, in the daylight. But and his mouth is open. And there's a tongue and gums in there. I can feel it. And he is just the most peaceful little thing. <laughs> this is all crazy hair. I love him. All right, I'm going to show you the COA so I can tell you who the artist is also that created him. She's over on Facebook. She's done quite a few Tayonas and like I know she recently did a cookie, I believe. And anyway, um, it's very interested, interested to see the work in person. People that are in the um, Tayona kind of fan group really that have dolls from her rave about her work. So I was very, very excited to be able to see it in person. And he's 100% lives up to the hype. I am so impressed and so happy that I could spit, but I won't. All right, let's look at the certificate. I, I just can't even wait to thank the seller who sold him to me. She was awesome in working with me and my PayPal was being weird. So I had to have her send the request a couple ways and she was just like patient and awesome. And um, I know it's really scary with the, oh, the artist stuff is not, oh yeah, okay, it's on here. I know it's scary with all the scammers out there that when anything doesn't go 100% smoothly with a transaction, I, like, I'm so worried people are gonna be worried that I'm a scammer. <laughs> Certificate of Authenticity, Dal Tayona, originally sculpted and casted by Elena Westbrook. October 25th, 2018, the sculpt was made. Um, painted by Yulia Salisbury. Created November 18th of 2020. 17 inches tall, 6.9 pounds, which may be actually six pounds, nine ounces, maybe in weight, sculpted and produced in silicone by Elena Westbrook, painted by Eula Salisbury. And he's awesome. So I'm not sure how many dolls, how many Tayonas have come out, but there's a bunch of them out there. I think it's 
I think that she stopped producing them, but maybe started again, or maybe they're done. I'm not sure, but there just seem to be a lot of them that come out, continue to come out from a 2018 sculpt, and more power to you because he is one of those lightning in a bottle, in my opinion. In my opinion, the way that I feel about the Amelia sculpt in vinyl from Joanna Kuzmierczak, um is how I feel about Tayona in silicone. It's just one of those just perfect, peaceful, timeless, sweet baby looking sculpts. And I could not be more pleased. His silicone, okay, so he's, he's a, he, well, he's cold, so that definitely changes the texture, but he's definitely a super soft silicone. I would say he's similar to how my Stevie was, my, um, not Vivi, oh goodness. Anyway, my last <clears throat> Lillian Breedville baby, but not that marshmallow that's super, see how he's, I mean, he's not like, he still holds his structure, if that's making sense. He's a real child. This. This is a baby. <laughs> Look. Okay, I'm so excited with this little boy. Oh my goodness. So I am, I'm really excited to finalize a name for him and to come back and share that with you guys and share him in the natural light and check him out in natural light. So we will most definitely do that. If I can steal some time over lunch sometime this week, that's my goal. Oh, sweetie. And I have a vinyl baby coming tomorrow, FYI. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you stuck around, um, uh, thanks for making it to the end. Always love when I'm able to share these moments and when you share in like the enjoyment of the doll and uh, lots of beautiful, sweet compliments um, come through and it's so appreciated. It really makes this so much fun. So we are sending out lots of love and bye for now. We'll be back. Have a great night.